We're Eagles and you're watching the AU Review. Well, welcome to Australia. It's, uh, it's great to see you guys here. I know you talked to us so safe from, from our team over at South by back in March. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's been almost a year since then, since you released the, uh, the record. I guess talk us through a little bit about you know, some of the highlights from the last almost 12 months. You know, has, it, I mean, has it stopped since then? It, it hasn't really stopped, to be honest. Um, we've, like the highlights, I'd say, is just that we've managed to like, go to all these new places and meet all these new people and show what we created to all these people in such a sh like, short space of time. It's been a, it's been a, a good opportunity for us. Is there anything surprising about how well it's gone? I suppose, in, in that kind of with the first record, you know, because not every band gets to come to Australia. Yeah. The, uh, their first album cycle. Yeah, of course. It was like, I mean, I still, I still, I'm, I'm in awe. Like a lot of the time, just like, are we really doing this sort of thing? Like, because it's, it's just strange to think that that mm -hmm. us five have sort of become able to do these things, and it's, uh, yeah, it's really nice. And having seen you at South By and seeing you in Singapore over the weekend, it's really been great to see how tight you guys have become. You know, obviously it's rough around the edges as it should be. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's, you seem so much tighter and so much more confident on the stage in, in that kind of 10-month period. Do you feel that as well? Do you feel more confident and comfortable playing in front of those big crowds? Now? I think even you didn't, it comes to the point where you, just, you, just, you don't play into larger crowds just becomes sort of normal. I mean, we, we, we always like to play smaller gigs as well as big gigs we feel mm. comfortable on both ends of the spectrum but um yeah I, I you sort of have yeah. a it's just a stage it, it's like you don't think you don't think who's out there or how many mm. it's like you just you're on stage and it's like it's the same thing like every every night sort of thing so it's good to play big stages because like, it always sounds like yeah it always sounds really big and, and, and it like and it helps our sound, sound like um mm. yeah it a, a live large stage sort of portrays our recorded sound quite well so um yeah so it's always good to do to do a large scale gig and i i imagine the kind of the shittier the amp the better sometimes get that really kind of <laughs> <laughs> scuzzy sound i don't know if that's the right word but yeah no yeah you you, you are pretty right there I mean, but sometimes you get you you get like handled some uh, some weird weird amps that we have to just sort of figure out in mm. like five minutes, but it works. <laughs> Random question: Have you ever been electrocuted on stage? Uh, I've I've like I've had like I've electrocuted my like lips sometimes like yeah. on dodgy mics yeah. like in weird venues, but sometimes the like the monitors blow your ears, don't they? Sometimes yeah, sometimes mm. they sort of go too loud and you halfway through a song you, just like, <laughs> you have to like wait for the song to finish and just like turn it away but that's happened quite a few times <laughs> yeah I imagine the more you play the more you kind of get used to those sorts yeah, of things yeah, yeah. yeah you just become more deaf <laughs> <laughs> you can deal with that you can deal with that later <laughs> yeah so speaking of later you know you're, you're here you've done two laneway shows you did your side show in Melbourne you got Sydney tonight yep. how have Australian crowds treated you so far and how's laneway festival been uh, Melbourne was really good one. It was. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, so obviously, it's the first time playing here, so I think hopefully tonight should be pretty good. But um, and we really liked Melbourne. Felt quite, quite homely there. I yeah, it was I, good. We really yeah. Like, we we managed to have a day off there as well. Um, and we've got some friends that live there that are from back home that have all moved up quite a lot actually. Oh, so many expats. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. There's there was loads. So um. It was yeah, it was good. I really enjoyed it. Australia's yeah. been good so far. We've only literally been here three days, but it's been it's been good so far. And you've got a, a good a good run. It's not a very it's not a quick trip as often happens. No, no, it's alright. We on tour as well. You, we've we've got four days in a row off next mm. week, which is just on for a touring <laughs> band is just unthinkable. It's like normally you get one, maybe a day and a half at a push. So, after, so we've got four days in Sydney next week. So um. We're uh, we're blessed. We're blessed, yeah. You'll actually get to see the see the city. Yeah, yeah. We get to we'll go on an adventure. Just, just I don't know. Probably sitting around the pool for four days or something. <laughs> eat, eating eating Nando's. Getting drunk in some English bar or something. <laughs> yeah, stupid. yeah. We should go, go find like O'Neill's or something. Watching Le Leeds play. Football yeah. Or something and just. <laughs> yeah, doing everything British. 
Like oh, typical, typical poms coming down here. <laughs> it's too warm outside. <laughs> 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 this, is a, this isn't winter. <laughs> this is crap. <laughs> <laughs> How are you dealing with the heat? Obviously, Singapore in particular is quite hot. It's, it's, I'm, I, I think I've sort of like climatized now. I'm, it's I'm, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. When we got off the plane in Singapore, it was like, it's like boom, like sort of hit us. But it, it's, yeah, I'm all right now. It, I think it doesn't really help when you have hangovers, but <laughs> you know. The brain freeze isn't a bad thing. No. A <laughs> um, lot of other great bands on the lineup. You know, who, who have you seen so far that you've enjoyed? Anyone you're looking forward to seeing as the tour continues? Um, I'm a big Future Islands fan. Mm. Um, I've seen them a few times before, and I don't think I'd, I'd get bored of watching them for the next two weeks. I, I think they're amazing. And what um, Jungle, I watched those. They, they were really good. And uh, FK Twigs. I was really intrigued by it. I wanted mm. to see it live, and, but it was really mesmerizing. Amazing she, voice. Proper show as well. Yeah, voice is it's insane. Um, she was yeah, she was really good. I'd watch her again definitely. We watched uh, St. Vincent the other day, we sort of like snuck backstage and mm. watched from like the back and yeah. it's, it's just crazy like everything that goes on in between and how mm. professional they all are like it's a uh, just watching that itself like that was really interesting. Mm. So I give you some ideas for future shows, choreography <laughs> and maybe yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know. I might get one of those like rotating drum kits. <laughs> or like elevated drum kit maybe I don't think I'll be wearing ACDC some style yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah wearing some PVC suit or something <laughs> it would be entertaining yeah I don't know whether anyone would be entertained by me wearing that I think <laughs> the crowd would leave <laughs> just, uh, I just I can't look at this I just can't, can't look at this everyone's just got their heads down sweating in this heat <laughs> PVC <laughs> not good not a good not a good look um uh, looking beyond Laneway, what's the rest of the year holding for you? We've started um, working on our second album um, and we've got quite a lot of festivals um, sort of booked in at the minute but we just um, we keep getting offered tours and whatnot mm. but we, we're trying to just not so we can get the second album really It's really annoying as well, like we get all these opportunities and you, I mean We got well, offered a tour with like our dream bands last week and we had to like oh, honestly like, a year ago we would probably would have done it like oh we'll do it for free like <laughs> honestly we'll drop i would have dropped anything to do it but we had to we just had to say no it's pretty wounding really but yeah. we've just got a, we just want to crack on mm. we've been quite in a good routine with the second album at the minute so we as soon as we get back it'll just be straight on with that and otherwise what could happen is you go on that tour and then that leads to another one and suddenly it's three exactly, years yeah, and you still haven't finished a record yeah so we thought no let's let's be good yeah um, 